my hair is a hot mess again but really least of my problems right now well hey everyone it's amy and today i am coming to you from sunny san diego and if you're sitting there thinking well i wasn't expecting that then please be assured that neither was i it's a real shock for everyone involved trust me. So I think it goes without saying that this whole video and my presence here in California kind of explains where I've been for the past few weeks. So I am really sorry for just bailing on you guys, but hopefully this video will give you some insight into why that happened. I'm also sorry that this video is probably going to be a couple of days late. That is purely because I forgot to pack a plug adapter. So until I get one of those, I can't edit this video. It was meant to go up on Tuesday today is maybe Thursday who knows but apologies I didn't want to keep you guys in suspense any longer also I'm sick so here, there are all of the announcements actually not true I do have one more announcement before we get into the crux of the drama that is my life and it's this it is October. That's not the announcement. You probably already knew that. But as many of you guys know, I love October. This is my favorite month, favorite time of the year. I'm sorry, I'm kind of dying slowly. <coughs> Let me just cough up my lungs and I'll get back to you. But yeah, all about this time of year and especially Halloween. I freaking love Halloween so much. And to share my love of Halloween with you guys for the first time ever in the history of this YouTube channel, I am selling merch over on my website. It's Halloween merch and you know I'm serious about it because I'm using the word merch. If you guys love Halloween as much as I do, then I will leave the link down below. Go and check them out. I have a variety of t-shirts. We have, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus, resting witch face, and my personal favorite, feeling bougie. Get it? So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link down below. I'm super excited about Halloween. And now, let's get into the rest of this video. Where to begin with this? So ever since I got back to Bahrain, things just did not go well. If you guys saw that video I made about when Etihad Airways lost pretty much everything I own. I was quite highly strung. I was feeling very stressed. And it wasn't just because all of my suitcases were lost and I had no clothes, no makeup, no nothing. It was also because um, the day after Etta had lost all my stuff, I went to the ATM to withdraw some money and I realized that I hadn't been paid in two months. And when you got no suitcases and no money, that's a stressful situation. So from the get-go, from me landing back in Bahrain, it was not going well for me. And factor in the fact that obviously moving, even though I've done it a bunch of times, moving and settling back in and getting back into the swing of things and leaving behind my family, leaving behind Cody, it's just an icky time generally so to have any added stress not good added to that they had brought in new management to my workplace and i'm not going to go into a bunch of detail here i could sit here all day long and just what are they what do they say spill the tea sip the tea there's tea involved i'm not down with the kids i don't know i have a lot of things i could say about it is what i mean but i'm not going to just to give a kind of overview the atmosphere in my workplace had changed completely so it would be like if you don't do this we're going to keep you after work if you don't do that we're going to cut your salary if you don't do this we're going to give you a written warning and everything every small thing that they asked for came with a weighty consequence if you didn't do it the way that they wanted it done it just makes for a very strange stressful work environment especially I was still waiting on two months of pay and here I have someone telling me that they're gonna dock my salary if I don't get my emails done in time like what are you gonna dock there is no money left I'm just trying to set the scene of quite how stressed and really at my wits end I was. I think I'm someone who deals with pressure quite well. I mean, hello, I've moved to the other side of the world where I don't know anyone, taken on a new job, moved into a new apartment, and done all that twice, and it didn't faze me. Like, I think I'm someone who deals with stress quite well. But in this instance, 
not so much. The stress and the pressure from work and just the concern about the way that my job was going and this feeling of just having no job security because at the end of the day if they're not going to pay you that's not particularly secure that whole feeling just was overwhelming like the stress was so bad that it, it brought me down physically i mean you can see that i'm sick now i don't necessarily know that this is to do with the stress i don't necessarily know that it isn't but i do know that i was like breaking out in hives i had the worst insomnia that I have had in years. And I'm someone who suffers from insomnia frequently, but I'm talking like did not sleep for weeks. I just had this constant nausea. I had stomach aches. I just was constantly on edge. Like you could see it. I was like this. It was completely miserable. And I know a lot of you sitting on the other side of this are probably like, well, if I wasn't paid for two months, I wouldn't have gone back in the first place. And you people are correct. That would have been the right thing to do. But when someone tells you like, don't worry about it. There was an issue with the bank. The money's on the way. Like, why wouldn't you believe them? And I will say, I did get all of the money that I was owed before I left, hallelujah. Even after that money was paid back to me, I just felt so stressed and so uptight and so miserable. And I just kept thinking to myself, I wish I could leave, but what if I don't find another job? What if I can't afford to keep my apartment? What if I have to leave Bahrain? And I realized, that I was letting fear run my life. You guys know, especially recently, I've been trying to make more and more videos about how to live your best life, how to like leave fear behind and just follow your dreams. And I felt like the biggest hypocrite in the world once I realized what I was doing because I was keeping myself in a miserable circumstance where I was unhappy, I was super stressed, I couldn't even enjoy my job anymore because I was afraid of the possibility that I might find myself in a miserable circumstance where I was very stressed and things didn't work out. So I was willing to keep myself in certain misery because I was afraid of potential misery, which so many of us do that and I think it's just a part of life. We just cling to what is familiar and I'm so glad that I caught myself as early as I did and I looked at myself and I was like, who are you? Fear does not belong here. And in that moment, I decided, yes, it's scary to be unemployed and potentially not have anywhere to live and to just flee the country. But it was what I had to do because I was not gonna let fear run the show. And that's what was happening. I just wanna make this abundantly clear because I know some of you will probably ask, I am 100% planning on going back to Bahrain. I love Bahrain. Cody will be back in Bahrain next year anyway. So that's where I wanna be. That's, I still have an apartment there. All of my stuff is still there. I left it there with like faith that I will find a new job to go back to. I just felt like I needed to remove myself from that negative place that I was in, all of that stress, all of that anxiety and to make a physical change just like a change of scenery can do you the world of good and so i booked myself a month vacation to come and visit cody take in the warm san diego air and just get my mind off things and when i got here a couple days ago i mean it was a grueling journey from bahrain to san diego it was 24 hours a little over 24 hours um in just like back-to-back -back flights. <sighs> I'm so glad that it's gonna be another month before I see another airplane because that was too much, even for me. But when I got off the plane, obviously I've got a bit of a cold going on. I'd been up, not sleeping so well on the plane. And so I was tired. But that night when I went to bed, I slept for 17 hours. It was as if all of the stress that had been building up inside of me, that had taken over me physically as well as mentally, just the moment that I saw Cody and I hugged him, it just all drained out of me. And I was like, oh, loosey-goosey. I was just like a weirdo. I came and I actually lay down on the floor in Cody's closet because I just suddenly, 
like it was like all of this tension was suddenly gone and for the first time in weeks I slept and I slept hard. So I know this was 100% the right decision for me and I think the main message that I would like to give to you guys in this video is do not let fear hold you back. And it's easy to do. You know how much I tell you, follow your dreams, you know, don't, don't let the fear of like what could happen or what the thought of what should be get in your way. And then at the same time, I so easily fell into that trap. And for three and a half weeks, I was thinking to myself, oh, I should stay here, oh, I can't leave, but I wish that I could. And then it just took an instant for me to wake up and realize, wait, yeah, I can. I'm not like cemented to the spot. I can get up and leave. I can go and do something else. And so maybe you guys are in a similar situation right now, whether it's with your job, with a relationship, like with a physical location that you're in and you just think, oh, I can't do that. I just wish I could, but what if, what if, what if? Do it. So yeah, here I am. I'm back on the floor of Cody's bedroom next to this couch. Like I need to find a better place to film if I'm gonna be here for a month. But seriously, lighting in this room is not the best. I'm so glad that I got to sit down with you guys today and talk through all of this. Firstly, because as I've said many, many times, you are like my free therapist. And secondly, because now that I've done this, I feel like my real self again. Like I felt so, not myself for such a long time and sitting down and talking to you guys was just the final piece of the puzzle that I needed to feel whole again. So thank you for that because I feel like myself again. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. Go ahead and leave me a comment. What are you guys up to? What is new in your lives? I love to hear from you. Don't forget to go and check out my Halloween merch. And every time I say merch, I feel so weird about it, but hey. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being with me always. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.